It's exciting to start this collaborative art project that will be featured in the cafeteria. In this video, you will see how you can start your tiled fish. In class, we have talked about pattern. We have practiced on paper and we have practiced with modeling clay. Start with a ball of clay and work with it a bit to get any air bubbles out. Set it down on a piece of paper or mat protecting the table and press down. Use the rolling pin to flatten out the clay and get it even. You want it to be about a quarter of an inch, which is about the thickness of a pencil. In the story, most of the characters are ovals. Any circular shape is fine. You're going to want to smooth out the edges and cracks all around with your finger. You may use a little bit of water if needed. There are a variety of tools that you can use to create a curved dividing line for the face and body. Once you've created the curved dividing line for the face and body, you're ready to start on the face. There are a variety of marker caps that you can use to create circular eyes and many different options for you to make yours stand out. Don't push too hard on the pen caps. Just press hard enough to leave a clean imprint. There are a variety of stamps provided for the lips or you may have an idea of your own. When using the stamps, make sure that you press into the clay leaving an imprint and you may need to rock it a little bit back and forth to create the indentation in the clay. Use any of the clay tools provided to create different facial features. There are a variety of stamps, or you may have some of your own, to carve into or imprint a pattern. The key is to use enough pressure so that you leave a good clean imprint on, in the clay. There are geometric shapes, fins, hearts, flowers, plenty of things to choose from for you to be creative and make your own fish tile. When you're all done, you get to put your name on it. The clay will then dry and turn into something we call greenware. We have purchased special glaze that allows you to paint over the greenware, and we have tons of cool colors to choose from. You'll put drops of glaze in plastic trays, and you'll be able to paint your greenware. You can paint inside the imprints you made. Just be creative. You can see it doesn't take that much glaze to cover the fish, but it will dry a chalky color. And then when it's fired, the fish will come out of the kiln bright and colorful. The students and teachers are having a good time, and I'm excited to see how this will turn out. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the art studio.